web service by using the Chrome REST plugin. So launch the Chrome REST plugin by going to Chrome's more tools, extensions, go to advanced REST client and click on launch app that will launch the Chrome REST plugin. We need the URL so you can copy the URL from the WADL, take the base URL, copy it, go to this request tab, paste the URL right here. We are going to get the product first even before we create it. So we need to create a product in the database because we don't want to type in all the XML elements here. We'll create a product in the database by executing an insert into product. If you are not lazy like me, you are welcome to type in the XML in here. So what I am trying to do here is insert a record, fetch it, then use that XML to create one more record. So insert into product, ID is one, name is iPhone, comma, description, it's awesome for some people, comma, price, $700. Need to, of course, use values here, insert into product, values, and then the four values, execute, I have one record, select so i have only one record now go back to the chrome rest plugin product service slash products slash one i need to pass in the id that's the url we should be using method is get hit the send button and we have a 200 okay click on the chrome browser scroll down here is our response all the xml with the description id name and price Copy it from product to product. We don't need this XML element. Scroll up. Use the post method. We'll create a new product. So paste it here. Change this iPhone to MacBook Pro. Price will be $1,000 or $1,200. And it's awesome too, the ID should be two. The URL is not, it shouldn't have the ID, it just ends with products. That's the URL we have used for create and update. The method is post, send. The media type, of course, 415 unsupported media type, you have to choose XML from custom content type here. By default, it uses text HTML. So select application XML. If you need JSON support, if you configure JSON support on the server side by adding Jackson provider, etc., which is shown in earlier sections, you can use application JSON. But right now select application XML. That will add a header which tells the server that this is application XML. Send. We get a 200 OK back. Scroll down. The response is just 200 OK. We are not returning anything. But let's go to the database and do a select, execute, and now we have two products. In the next lecture, we will test the update and the delete methods.